Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Overworld Games, and we've got some brand new gameplay footage of Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is coming out November 11th, right alongside Assassin's Creed Unity, and then immediately afterwards, Far Cry 4. Insane. Ubisoft, that is insane. And don't forget, we're going to be seeing the crew as well sometime shortly. So we've got some brand new details about Assassin's Creed Rogue today. First of all, we're going to begin with Outpost Raids. These are where a target holds a key to a warehouse. Your goal is to track down that target, eliminate him, grab the key, and then gain materials from a warehouse where you can upgrade your ship from there on. So this is going to be extremely important to progressing throughout the game because your ship also needs upgrades to get through the icy areas of the game because this game is going to be more about the snow and the treacherous environments of the winter. So it's going to be extremely important taking on the outpost in Rogue. Now this mission type I'm very excited for. It is called Gang Stalkers and it's a new take on taking on assassins. Remember, you are a Templar going after assassins this time. And these assassins will be very skilled, especially when you run into stalker assassins who can hide in brush, blend in crowds and benches. This sound all sounds very familiar because you've employed these tactics in previous Assassin's Creed games. So it also reminds me a lot of Assassin's Creed uh, 4's multiplayer but this time it's going to be in single player. So you're going to be hearing the whisper noise when you get close to an assassin. You know you've got to be careful when that happens. So let me know guys if you are comfortable taking on the role of a Templar and killing assassins. Do you like this new type of gameplay from Assassin's Creed? Let me know in the comments below. Now there's something called Gang Headquarters and your goal is to capture the headquarters by completing three different objectives. First of all, you have to sabotage three barrels containing poison reserves. Then you have to go and hunt down the Gang HQ leader and this usually leads to some sort of chase. And then finally, after eliminating him, you cut down the flag and claim the headquarters as your own. And remember, just because these are gangs, and pirates, they are still loyal to the Assassin's Cause, which sort of carries over the story arc from Assassin's Creed 4, so that tie-in is there. And by the way, there will be some sort of story tie-in to Assassin's Creed Unity at the end of Assassin's Creed Rogue. So what's so different about ship warfare this time? Well, you've got to navigate icy cold waters, that's the first thing. And to do so, sometimes you're going to be coming across patches of ice, you're going to need to upgrade your ship to get past these icy uh, waters. Also, you're going to have to worry about icebergs. You can actually use these for cover uh, in battles. So that's going to be important to remember that uh, you can do that and you can take them down if other ships are also employing that tactic on you. You can also leave a trail of burning oil in your wake. And this time you are not invulnerable to being boarded Yes, ships can ram you, disable your ship, and then board you, which leads to the trademark Assassin's Creed combat, which is more reminiscent of Assassin's Creed Black Flag than is of Assassin's Creed Unity. Assassin's Creed Unity is having its own brand new take on combat this time. And don't forget, hunting is back uh, once again. You can hunt uh, the poor sea creatures of the northern Atlantic and then upgrade your ship in that way as well. But guys, please leave a comment. Let me know, are you looking forward to Assassin's Creed Rogue, Assassin's Creed Unity, or Far Cry 4 this year? Let me know in the comments. These are all Ubisoft titles. They are really on a roll this year, and I cannot wait to see which one does better in terms of sales. Far Cry 4 is looking really good, by the way. The more I see of that one, it is looking sick. I'm excited for all of them, of course. I'm the biggest Assassin's Creed fan and open world gamer here. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, be sure to join us right here on YouTube for all things open world gaming and then also on Facebook and Twitter because that's all we cover is open world games. Look forward to more Assassin's Creed Rogue, Assassin's Creed Unity, and Far Cry 4 right on this channel. Thanks guys for watching and I will see you next time.